This is indeed one of the most frequently asked questions here on the channel. How do I make my network their phone? Record video straight to the on the R. The answer is simple. Make the video recorder see it as a network camera. And that is easy to do. I'm going to show you how with High Collision and Dahua Technology Tech. And this is applicable to nearly all devices from these classes. And then you can get all parts that you need for a security system on a people system store delivered across UK, Europe, and many other countries. My name is Daniel, making the phone set a record video to the NVR, and we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. For the demo, I have selected the Hikvision 7608 and i K1 8-channel network video recorder plus Hikvision KV 8113-WME1 network dust station with Wi-Fi. And be aware that you need exactly the NVR of the 76 or higher series. Either way, it may just not work. Not guaranteed. But it won't be a problem with modern video recorders. It's Dahua AxVR 5108HS-4KL with 4 IP camera channels and the Dahua VTO 32D-P outdoor station. Emphasizing that this is applicable to literally all modern high vision and Java network devices. And we begin with the high vision. And here I am fast forwarding the device's wires connections and start up. Here's the hard drive, 12 volt power there, network YATP to both. Here it is, and here it is. This one's POE, and it's coming from the network switch. And now Let's just finish this one up and turn it on. As for the software part, I am using a Hikvision CDP and IVMS 3200 to activate both devices. Now the actual video recording setup. So from the moment when you've got your devices, like I do, up and running, and you made sure that you get the video from the door station. Let me just prove it to you, hello there. All right, so we need the video recorder settings, and I'm gonna use the web version, because I'm really used to it. So uh, paste the IP address of it right in your search field, and just get to it, 164, it's 164. Now I'm logging into my account that I've created, log in. And right away, switching to the configuration tab, going to system and going to the camera management, pressing add. And all right, let's, let's get back so you can see my KV8113 DOS station is under the 65. So I just copy it here and modify the last one to 65. Now the password and okay. Now we're gonna wait just a bit until we see the online status right here. And so I'm refreshing the page. It takes like, I don't know, up to 10 seconds every time. So this one's done. And now we go to the uh, storage and the storage management tab. And here you can see that I've got here the uh, one terabyte HDD connected and running. And I'm going to format it right now. Format the HDD, yep. Here you can hear the indication that he is, uh, well, indicating to me that he is actually doing something. Okay, and here we are ready. Now, the schedule settings. Go back and here you can see uh, the continuous type of recording is this blue lines all over. Yeah, it's blue. Continuous is for blue. It's turned on by default, like continuous 24 by seven. Though, if it's not for you, enable and draw lines like, like let me show you the continuous and then we're drawing the lines where we want or we can just this. Hold up, let me stretch this out, this one out. And we go, and then you can copy it to all other days. So, okay, this time we just go. If you want to, if you want it to record by detecting a motion, you first need to configure the door station to do that, of course. So I go into its settings in the IVMS. I check the box left to it, and now I locate this count button. I'm waiting until it will load up. Okay, uh, we go to the event. And we have the only tab here, the basic event. So we enable the motion detection. Sensi sensitivity is on the middle. And we are saving. Wait until we see this indication, which is great. 
All right, now let's get back to the video recorder and we need to uh, turn it on here too. So event, basic event, and it's turned on by default for me. I actually didn't turn it on, but well, if, if it turned off for you, yeah. Check here, choose the sensitivity. My level is always A60 and be sure to check uh, to, to select the right channel. Right now I have only the one. Now, the next thing, uh, getting back to the storage. And to make that happen, uh, you see there's a motion, motion alarm, motion and alarm, but we need specifically the event or it won't work. So we delete it and now we draw the lines, just like this, this purple lines, yep. And if you want it to go 24 by 7, you do this and here it is. And now we're saving and we are ready. Now I go to the IVMS back and go into the remote playback. Let me just uh, a few times, I'm going to trigger it. So we'll see that I'm actually doing some motion. So it may be recorded. All right. And go into the remote playback, selecting the video recorder that I've got. But you can see there is no device right there now. So what we got to do, we go to maintenance and management, the group, and now I'm going to import the IP camera one, our door station. So I select my video recorder. Up, up, up. There we go, encoding channels. And here I need my uh, camera one, IP camera one, channel number one from the six, uh, 76, 08, and I video recorder. I press import, and now we can view it right here, the remote playback, the main view, here it is. And if we select this one, yeah, here's the first channel. Now we need the remote playback button, selecting this one. And there we go. Uh, happened just when I actuated the uh, motion detection. Yep, 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 it just captures me moving. Here's your timeline and here you can see the events. Let me just hold up, make it a little bit bigger. So as you can see, this was a continuous recording uh, turned on by default. And this one is a motion activated. Right when I put it like closer to me, yes, as you can see, motion activated. So that's how it goes. And here you are ready. The same goes for Dahua appliance installing the hard drive into the XVR video recorder and then I am fast forwarding the connections and devices start off. Now here's the hard drive, 12 volt PSUs here and here and the network via UTP to both devices. And now we're gonna one and two. The software part with Dahua is no software part. I'm using devices web interface for a activation. And here we go. After you've got your devices up and running and make sure that you get video from the door station like I do. Hello there. So we need the video recorder settings. So I log into the button interface, log in. we go to the management tab and selecting the camera. This is an XVR, this is Dahua XVR. So I need to activate the IP channels uh, and there's four. So you can see all eight analog channels are active, but there's four channels for IP and they're not. So I'm saving here. Okay, and it's gonna reboot. All right, I'm just gonna give it its time. And here it is, reboot it. Now, let me just get back there. Yeah, here it is, reboot it. Now I get the measurement tab again, but uh, the camera, but you can see it's a new tab built right here is the registration and I'm gonna use that. So this will be the manual add channel nine because all other are for analog. And let's give Dawa IP address is uh, one and then it's 110, 110, great username, password and should be good and saving. Now I'm just gonna uh, wait. Yeah, it's a red indication here. So wait up to a minute and refresh and getting the uh, green. So refresh and here we are. All right, so now we can uh, view my door phone straight from the uh, video recorder. 
So let me get that close, go to live mode, select it right here, channel number nine, so it's selected, and here you are. Again, now it's uh, directly, it's straight, straight. All right, so now we need the uh, management storage. We're going to management, going to storage, the HD manager, and as you can see, I've got a one terabyte hard drive in here. And if you were using yours uh, earlier, don't forget to format it in here. Here's this button. Uh, now we need the schedule. So uh, selecting our channel, channel number nine. And here you can uh, see that by default, we have a continuous, a general, yeah, I call generally here, I type of recording. Meaning if we go to the playback, select this channel, and uh, we can actually do this right now. Let's go to management. And uh, now I'm gonna change this one. I go to video, select the channel number nine, and see that it's actually saved already in here. I just gotta find it, and there you go. Because the continuous recording has started by default. It's not me, uh, I don't know how to prove that, but all right, this is a recording, all right? But well, now let's get back to the storage, get back to the storage, the schedule, nine channel. So here it goes. Let's say you want you wanted to record the event of detecting motion. Uh, now check here, the AMD's motion detection. I wanna press settings. I wanna press AMD, AMD, AMD all the seven times and all here and save. And now, look, same once again, and I will always record only by detecting the motion. And now let me just trigger it a few times. And now I'm gonna go back to the uh, live view, the video playback. Uh, channel number one, channel number nine. Where are you? There we go. There we go. And, uh, and what I wanted to show you is the motion triggered recording. Let me just find that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, actuated by the motion. Here we are. There it is. I was trying to activate it like this. And here I was not moving, I suppose. <laughs> all right, but it's all done. It's already. Building your security system. Get all parts that you might ever need on the People System Store following this link or the one in the description. And thank you for watching.